Hello, readers. So I am excited. This week we are going to continue learning and practicing author's point of view, also called viewpoint or perspective. But before we do that, let's review what we talked about last week. So last week we talked about determining the author's purpose. Why did the author write the text to begin with? And we learned that terminology of PIE, P-I-E, where the P stands for to persuade or trying to convince you, oops, let me get, there we go, or trying to convince the reader to believe something, okay? So they explain why they feel the way that they do. That is why we persuade someone. The um, next letter we talked about was I, which was to inform. And informing means that they are treat, teaching you something. They're giving you facts or information to teach you the reader. The last letter that we talked about in Pi was to entertain. And when someone entertains, they're writing for you to enjoy the text. So they're trying to just give you some information that's fun to read, enjoy. Usually this is a fictional text, which most of you like to read. So remember, persuade is to convince or believe. A lot of times that's like a ad or a commercial. Inform is reading, is teaching you something informational. And entertain is to enjoy. The other thing that we talked about last week was the viewpoint. How does the author feel? Okay, so remember that the viewpoint is how does the author feel about a topic? What is their opinion about a topic? What do they think about it? So in order to do that, we have to follow some steps. First, we have to figure out what is the topic of the text? What is the text about? And so last week, we looked at a couple examples like dogs and cats. The topic was dogs versus cats. Then the next thing that you need to do as the reader to identify the point of view is to think about how does the author feel about this topic? What is their opinion? What information are they giving you? What are they saying? Are they saying dogs are better? Cats are better? We should eat pizza. You need to get a rabbit. Are they saying we all should go vote? Are they saying that we should all eat candy? What is their topic feeling? After we've identified their topic, then we can look to see, are there reasons stated? Did they tell me why they want us to do that or why they feel that way? So in the author's viewpoint, you're going to figure out what is the topic, how do they feel, and then give their, re their reasonings. Once you figure that part out, then you as the reader can decide if you agree with the author or you don't agree. And it is okay to disagree with the author, but you have to be able to say why you agree or why you disagree. You have to be able to give your own reasoning for that. Now, sometimes they're going to ask you for your opinion about it, and sometimes they're not. Majority of the time, we are going to just be asking, what is the author feeling? What is the author's feelings or opinions? Today, you're going to be looking at a poem about nature. We're also going to look this week at some other examples in our Wonders book of stories and try to identify the author's point of view.